Okay, so we're gonna start just all the way around. You don't have to follow the same colors I, I do, but like you can do whatever colors you want to do. So we'll start. Okay, so here you don't really have to add like whatever colors like that I'm adding. You can add whatever color you want. So I'm adding some yellow, some red, some greens. Just some colors that would look better with each other. So I add some pink there because I'm going to add like a sea anemone on the side. So I'm just adding some colors around. Purple and blues, they look well together. Green and yellow, yellow, red, and orange, they, look, they work really well. So just some colors. Just do whatever you think looks good. This would be like a dark blue. So here would be the dark blue. Here from here would be like the light blue. So just try to make it fade in. Then you can add like a medium blue. So like a transfer color. You can add some purple. Add, to add a little bit of darkness to it. What else can you do? Alright, finally to make it like the deepest part, I like to use metallic blue. Alright, so next, we're gonna need a newspaper. So, you wanna make all this way around, all the coral wet. So, you wanna make this section wet here. Make some texture. Alright, then this is what I do. I like to twist and clear some nice rocks like that. See, like a drag and twist type of motion. So we'll add some more here. Then we'll add some more detail later. But that's that's good. That's actually very good. Okay, so here you just want to... Okay, like I messed up there. It doesn't really matter because it's like the coral. So you can literally just pick it off with your fingers. So just add some crystal clear. Just drag. And the white parts that you're seeing... Those are my fingernails. So like here I'm dragging down, making some different shapes. The best variety, like the more the more of the variety, the more like the better it'll be. Also, like the harder you press down, the more paint is gonna show, like underneath. See like the yellow on the bottom is showing, more of the orange on the top, stuff like that. So just work with it. So we're gonna swap this. So anywhere that I want like a black type of outline, like let's see I want it like right here. You don't have to make it a straight circle. I sometimes do that, but you can make it unique like that. That'll work. That will work too. Now over that, add metallic blue. Time to give it to, give it some color. Next thing. Same thing. Go over it with your crystal clear. So just outline it with crystal clear. The section you're gonna do. You want to go over the black and under the black to get some variety. So over and under. Make this one appear like it's like this is closer to you. Same thing over here. Just follow the black outline. Here. Make it look like a cavern type of thing. So add our crystal clear here. You can add a little, see it doesn't have to be straight like this. You can add like a little mountain, little tiny, little, little, little rocks. Like this, this will work too. Just dabbing it. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. So you have this. You have this. I know it's a little bad. This is like an extra piece, but that's okay. Okay, next. Okay, so here I decided to add something. You can do this too. Like when you're done with everything and you have like your basis down, 
So here I try to add some violet. Make sure you dry it so the bottom, the color on the bottom will always show up when you press down. So you'll see what happens. But like, I put some violet, then I put some darker purple, hoping it would show up more. But then like some of the green started showing. A little bit of the violet showed up, but I pressed down too hard. So just work with your mistakes. Try to add, experiment with different things, and you'll find out what you like. Like the center of the center of the of the what do you call it? What's it called? A sea anemone. So basically, spray here, and then we're gonna go like this. So from here, there's the pink. There's the pink. First, do like the outside of the black. I find that better. Then go around it in a circle. Right there, and if you don't like this part, I don't. But like, you can add something there. So, we'll actually fill in like what it is. So we'll add some pink here. So add some pink around here. Some other pink. Same thing with your newspaper. Just drag. So just drag and mix in the colors. This is a metallic pink. I want my sea anemone to like go a little bit brighter. Okay, then with your tint colors, if you would like, you can actually tint. So the white, this will make the white spaces, like the little highlights that you made, a little bit more colorful. So you can do that here. Sometimes I like to do this, sometimes not. Like here, I like to add a lot. All right, next I said we'll add some brain coral. So here it is. The brain coral is gonna be here in the corner. Add some, yellow, add some dark green, some light green on the section. Then finally, we're gonna add some, let me see. I think gold will work. Gold here. Then finally, a highlight of white. Make it show up like a little bit brighter. Then, newspaper again, and just like in a circular motion. Just make it like that. Easy, simple, a very simple. Give it some texture if you want. Next, this is what you have to do. So I'm gonna turn this around cause, so you can see it better. But it really doesn't matter. Okay, this pattern is completely random. It's just a bunch of loops. Like pretend like you're making a maze and it's really easy. You can do it, you got it. I've taught you how to make jellyfish before. Just bend your index card. I'm using an index card to basically um, make the different 
type of jellyfish. So here I add some color. You can add some metallic color too to help um, form the color. So I make some little rings. Then now what I do is I like to make like a long strand and I add some little tiny strands on the side. So just do that. Make the jellyfish that you want to make. You can make it blue, green, whatever color, or just white's fine. Let me see what else do I do in here. Pretty sure I dry it. You wanna dry this? I don't I don't know how to draw fish very well. So this is what I like to do. The farthest ones will be black. So the ones like going straight off into the distance. So let's say these ones like here. So some abstract fish coming along. Maybe we can add some more detail to it. Some blue. Let me see, some pink. Mix those two colors. And just dab. I don't know what's wrong with my brush. It's working. Some more pink. Oh, this is not going to fly. So some pink fish coming along. So some different fish coming along here. All right, next we're gonna add our sun. So obviously at the top, it's gonna be a little bit lighter. Then with straight lines, I kind of like the sun to shine everywhere. So I like going in a 360 moment. Maybe I'll do something like that. Or I'll just take my time. like this so if you guys know how to draw fish my brush is obviously broken but like and I don't know how to draw fish but like you can add it if you want next what you can do this is a this is actually a coral sponge I think that's called and you can add some like different like plant life like with this so like look just grab like a piece of it dab it in Some different like seaweed growing. 
from this place. Let's see. You want to add like a red? Red is cool too. Use like a different part or the same, or the same part, a smaller part. I only like to la add this on the bottom because it's like seaweed coming up and going all over the place. And finally, you know this already with some white. And you want it to like make sure that the light is hitting it, so. Then I think I'll wrap up. And make it seem like there's some sand here. So this is what it looks like right now, like this. I'm gonna add a, like a broken ship all the way at the bottom of the sea. So like now this, this does not have to be perfect cause like it's broken. So like you can... Okay, it's a broken ship. So you can basically like, uh, you can create like different types of things on it. Like I made like the middle kind of broken and the mast type on the side. So just make it how you want. Here I'm adding some bubbles. I just tap with the end part of my uh, my palette knife. So I add some bubbles in, then I sign it, and this painting is complete after I dry it. So voila, and there you go. Like little coins in it. Uh, you can add like a shark, a dolphin. A dolphin would have been cool there too. Uh, these can be like different colors. You can spray colors before then to make them pop up differently. But yeah, this is how it is. But so if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Voila, that's what it looks like. See you guys next time. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for all your comments. I do read them. I promise you I do. But that's what the painting looks like. I'll take a picture and I'll show it in the end. Alright, thanks.